Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Things are getting meatier and cheesier over at Carl's Jr. as the big Carl gets a pretty tasty looking upgrade. And that upgrade isn't exactly where it needs to be, guys. The meat and the cheese. Feast your eyes on not just the big Carl, the really big Carl. And I gotta say, it looks like the name, guys. It is really, really big. Looking really nice with all that 100% beef peeking out the middle right there. Let's pop the top of the sesame seed bun very carefully, actually. It looks like we have got some of that Thousand Island type sauce on the inside. We've got American cheese and three patties are actually here in effect. Let's see if I can split this down the middle for you. We'll get some of that cheese pull action. Very lovely situation, guys. The smell is glorious in my car right now. And with this amount of beef, you can bet it is gonna be pretty amazing, I think, in the flavor department. It's looking really, really nice. Nice and cheesy, nice and beefy. Underneath that, we've got some pretty fresh looking lettuce. It looks really, really nice, nice and green. And on the very bottom of this one, more of that sauce. So lovely situations. This is a total meat and cheese fest of epic proportions here, guys. It looks really, really awesome. Let's see if the flavor is gonna deliver on it. How could it not, right? This is the really big Carl here at Carl's Jr. Let's peep out this flavor. You know, when I went to check out that Beyond Barbecue cheeseburger at Carl's Jr. recently, which you should see popping up on your screen right now, you can definitely check that one out. It was very fun to do. I actually saw this one up on the menu board and I said to myself, you know what? I'm probably gonna be swinging back to do this because it looked pretty amazing. And I gotta say, after picking it up for the review right now, it really does look pretty amazing live, guys. There's a lot of beef on this one right now, and it is very, very hefty. So before I take the first bite, which I'm very anxious to do, as always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, because this looks pretty delicious and you're gonna see it up close in a second, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as new content drops every week. So guys, without further ado, the really big Carl, it's living up to its name. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry to talk with my mouth full with that one, but I just could not help it right away. There was so much beef, so much cheese. It is really, really flavorful. Let's go for another bite, and I'm definitely getting you in here for this close-up, guys. You got to see this. It's pretty awesome. Mmm. Mom. Well, let me just say the first two words that really stick in my mind right after these first couple of bites are easily stupidly delicious. Guys, it's a meat and cheese showcase, and while it's a little on the drier side, there is so much cheesy flavor on this one to really make up for that that you can really taste everything beautifully. It's more of an evolutionary step up from the regular Big Carl, so I know that one's considered, I guess, a Big Mac clone, but it doesn't have that middle bun. But again, we are missing the pickles, we're missing the onions, so this is really just more of the Thousand Island type sauce and lettuce but plenty of meat and cheese. And again, that's the real showcase for this one and I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, it's pretty tasty and I have to admit, as I was biting into it also, I love the way the bun kind of melds around the meat itself and you can feel how much meat you are biting into with this one. And then you get the nice cheese flavor and of course that Thousand Island dressing. There's just so much of everything on this burger right now. It's just crazy delicious. Scratch that stupid delicious. Let's go for another bite. Mmm, nom. Three bites in and I already feel like I'm kind of good right now, guys. I am not kidding with you. There is just a lot of meat on this one. It looks great in the poster and I have to admit again, the flavor is just delivering. It's all the charbroil flavor that Carl's Jr. is known for. Really up in your face cleanly with the flavor of the cheese on top of it. It is really, really awesome. Let me go for one more bite and I think I'm definitely gonna be good after that. We'll go for that final close up and then we'll finish this one out. It's just, it's tasty. I think you know that by now, right? Here we go again. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna take you 360 with this one as carefully as I can because there is so much dressing around the back here. As you can see, this bun is kind of falling apart. It is crazy right now. I think I'm about to lose the very bottom of it. But guys, I'm doing my best for you. As you can see, so much meat, so much cheese, just an insane amount of beef. And guys, again, the flavor is stupid delicious on this. I can't stop saying it because it is amazing. Look at all of this beef. The really big Carl is gargantuan. This thing is really worth the money. It really is. Yeah, this was a lot of fun to check out and what made it even better for me was that I was really in the mood for a really tasty, really thick and hearty burger and that one easily fit the bill, guys. I mean, how could it not with three patties, three pieces of cheese and just overall just the size being what it was? Really awesome stuff. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the really big Carl over here at Carl's Jr. a rock solid nine out of 10. The only way I can see to really enhance that would be to really add some pickles and some onions for a little bit of variety, a little bit of extra crunch. But as it stands again, a meat and cheese showcase unlike any other right now, and definitely something very hearty to check out over here at Carl's Jr. Highly recommended. Now, of course, the obvious question is, are you gonna take me up on that recommendation? Drop some comments down below. Have you already had the big Carl over here at Carl's Jr.? And if you have, do you think it actually tasted like a Big Mac? 
Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, you remember that old saying from Carl's Jr., if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face? Good call on the burger diaper, Carl's, because this thing would definitely be all over my lap right now otherwise. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.